So as I was exploring Photoshop yesterday, I came across this tip that for three years that I've been using Photoshop, I've never come across it and I have no idea it existed. And as such, I know that some of you have no idea that it also existed. So let's see what this tip is. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thanks so much for coming back again. So I've made emphasis on the fact that if you want to get your background and erase background back, the best option for you to do is to use the layer mask. And I've made a video on that. But then I was getting it wrong. I have this picture over here and a, a couple of things works out for this. Now let me unlock this background and then let me pick my eraser to have the hardness to be 100%. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get rid of a part of this like that. So basically all that I knew is that if you are working on this and then you use the eraser probably after 10 times of working, you're not going to get this back. But I was getting it all wrong. Now if you have the same eraser and then you've brushed off or erased this part, let's say this part. You can actually erase any part that you want. Now, if you want to get it back, all that you have to do is to hold Alt and then you erase it back with all the place that you erased off. You just erase that place back. It doesn't matter the number of times that you've worked in Photoshop. It's as simple as that. If you remove your hands from the Alt, it is basically erasing it. And then if you place your hand on the Alt, is basically getting it back it doesn't work only with the eraser let's assume that we have the magnetic lagzo tool over here and then we try to cut off this area so i get to this point and then mistakenly let's say i cut over here and then um i reach this point and then we delete so what i'm going to do is that I'm going to deselect and then this area was not supposed to be cut off right so we are going to pick the eraser tool and then we are going to hold alt and then we are getting back this way this sounds very great and seriously like i've been using photoshop for three years now i have no idea this existed i only thought that you can make use of the layer mask if you want to brush off a part and then get it back later not knowing that this was hiding somewhere waiting for me the only problem is that if you delete a part of this it works in this document but if you send it over to let's say a document like this one let me send it over here and then you try to apply these steps over it you pick your eraser and then you hold alt it doesn't work over here so that is the only difference that is if you are working in a particular document like this one it does work you can get your image back but if you send it to another document you cannot get it back so that still holds the fact that layer mask is the best option if you want to erase an image and get it back even after a couple of time working in photoshop and even closing it thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and check over uh, the video on how to work out with layer mask so that will be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll get back to you with another one. It's Innocent here. Bye.